What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, the Unbiased Gamer, back here with another video. So, yeah, man, we're here to talk about some more Dragon Ball Legends. So, as you guys know, man, we got the big news of the announcement of Goku and Frieza getting some adjustments. So, this was, you know, talked about amongst the community, um, you know, after the characters were tested and released. And if you own them, you know, you can see what people are saying. If you don't own them, you can probably can see it in other people's videos if they explained it. And, you know, everything is agreed upon. You know, a lot of people will say purple Goku is just purple Goku, but Frieza is really the best tag unit <laughs> because of what he does and how he fights. He has blast armor and X, Y, and Z and Goku only has this. So, you know, um, you know, it's crazy. Now, of course, you, you get boosts from them switching back and forth. But like I've told people for a lot of times, a lot of LFs and I, and I say LFs are like, you know, light, light luster in the sense, especially because how they are made, especially you got to get them in high stars. You got to use them. But tag units do have, you know, severe vulnerabilities that so they do have good upsides. If you can swap them out in time, if you can um, create damage and havoc for your opponent, if they got a crazy green card, like the tag fours, keep them going. You know, it's just a lot of things that can keep them going. So those are like one of my favorite um, tag units. And if not the best until they came out, but I would say with this buff, they they shooting up on the list now of course the anti rising rush wasn't working sometimes it works sometimes it don't it just you you really playing Russian roulette when you do it so it's like okay I swapped them in oh they did it okay cool then sometimes you swap them in they don't activate you're like mm, what's going on here so it made you question like what's going on with their kit man something ain't right so of course. They decided now, talking about the game and popularity, to give us a 1,000 gems. It's already in your box right now if you go claim them. But these are not apology gems. If these are just to celebrate the, you know, fifth year anniversary, I mean, we're getting the, the changes that we need, but it's not apology gems. Can we get another 1,000 on top of that? I hope you're watching Scamco. I say that for Namco Bandai, but they need to give us a 1,000 more. Now, especially with people with banners, me, I had to summon crazy for them. And trust me, I did not get lucky. But let's look at the changes, man. A lot of these are warranted. A lot of them, what people have already said, you know, in videos, even before this even came out. So like I said, Rise and Rush counters different to activate. I'm not going to read this word for word, but I'm just going to go over it. So of course, we already know who the character is for, and we do know about the Rise and Rush mechanic. So like I said, the Rise and Rush counter is difficult to activate under certain circumstances. Due to lack of survivability, this character can often be defeated early on in battles, which is true. They are squishy, but a lot of LFs are super squishy. That's just how it is. Now, of course, there are certain units that came out on release or have better kits where they got a lot of reduced damage. They're moving other people's Dragon Balls. They're, reloose, they're removing other things, and you're going to see that happen in these uh, these buffs. So, of course, they said they're taking some considerable amount about it. I'm pretty sure they got a lot of you know, complaints. A lot of people even told people to skip you know them overall and it's something i mentioned before i told you guys if you guys really want these units you could go for them but if you probably go back i may have mentioned it or if i'm not if i didn't hold back i'm just you know going over it that i would advise people to skip them anyway and save for the ultra unit because the ultra unit is going to be better and the way they make ultras are just how they are so i'm pretty sure the ultra is just going to be better it's not even a, a conversation here but yeah let's go ahead and go to the next uh, picture so here that was that one there let's go to the bottom one here so this adjustments for both when an enemy activates rise run while this character is on standby it shortens its own substitution count by seven so basically what that means is that a lot of times when you have this character um you know if you have another unit in the people already say oh yeah you can't bring in goku you can't bring in frieza so we're just going to go ahead and rush you and kill them because you can't bring in goku and frieza even so you the, the effect may not work anyway, even if you had them. So, of course, we got the additional cancel enemy effect buff effects. So, it's basically saying they probably can't get their rush probably canceled. We'll see how that works. But we got um, when Rising Rush when Rising Rush counter activates, combo into a special move. Okay, so that's that's dope. So, normally, when you did the rush and then freezing Goku go in and counter the person, you couldn't hit him back. So, they're saying if the Rising Rush counter activates here, you can combo that to a blue card. I'm really like whatever. It's pretty situational, but hey, we'll take it. But it's just give them some knockback. So every time enemy uses a special move, ultimate or awaken card art while this character on the battlefield, we got nullifies unfavorable element factors for 
uh, damage sustained for five time accounts, activate three times. Addition, cancels on attribute downgrading abnormal conditions. And we got shorten ally substitution count by five. Now that's going to come in clutch because using um, Universal Rob Saga, they're not really you no know, crazy sub count manip manipulation like that, except um, the girl. Like when she get hit, you know, the people can come back faster. Um, Kiawe, but there's no real manipulation there. So if there's a defeated member, um, when this character ends the battlefield, shorten all allies so she count by two to three. So you know it is what it is. It's just an adjustment for Goku and Frieza. That's why it says for both. Then of course we go here. We got the adjustments for Goku here. So these him getting some new card draw speed is okay, and him switching out to Frieza getting that seventy percent vantage gauge. That's that's gonna be tough if you can really time it. So a lot of people gonna try to use that, and they're going to. Do it, people are gonna forget that they got the advantage back, and then they're gonna be able to advantage up out of there. So they, they they're just really ascending up there. Now again, it's still not up there with like a the three ultras. I would say at the top of the list: um, Gogeta Blue, Ultra Hip, and uh, Ultra Rose, which you all banners came back. I'm gonna do a separate video on that. Then of course um, we got some damage received for 10 percent for 15 camera counts. Cannot be canceled. Activates once. We got some key in reduction. That's something they needed. And randomly square enemy cards. That's something that they need as well when they get swapped in on the battlefield. According to the number of times this character is tagged, they are increasing that as well. They already, ha already had these intact uh, characters kids, but they just upping it from 30 percent to I mean, 20 percent to 30 percent. They upping it the second time from 40 percent to 50 percent. So they're just um, Increasing the modifiers by 10% each. So, of course, adjustments to Frieza. Uh, we're going to get a strike card next. Um, we, we, we go from Frieza to Goku. So, we're going to get a strike card. We swap over, get some health back, and get some key when it gets in spells for his Twitch. So, minus three. Can I be canceled? So, in this case, the battlefield, we get some more key. Um, this is Frieza. When he swap in, he gets 25. He gets some key. He's going to be doing more damage to the universe rep. Reduce enemy key when he swap in. And he's also going to be destroying a card. So I think the destroying card and reducing key part is, is decent. You can take that on trying not to get comboed all the time. But we also got one more thing to read. And this is just the last adjustment to Frieza. So this is just saying that um things like this are currently being considered. Uh, we don't know what all they're going to change. Um, hopefully they don't mess up You know some characters that are already dear. I know some people are annoyed with certain other characters. But... It's just the right and right direction, man. Especially, man, if you summoned a lot and you got these characters and they are underperforming, it's just going to help out to, you know, get what you essentially paid for. Whether you saved up or you got lucky or you went crazy summoned for a lot, the unit is, it is what it is. Now, I don't want them broken to a point where PvP is unplayable. I think they're still pretty useful. It's just that this is just going to make them a lot better to use. So, like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already done so. Like I said, we need more gems. Um, I've been saving up for the ultra. I'm not putting anything on the banner. So all the free CC they've been giving me like the 3000 and the ones from the story mission. I'm not using them and hopefully I have enough for the uh, ultra once they re reveal them. So I'm going to do a separate video. Like I said, for the ultras like hit Rose them who's currently came back. Stay tuned to that. Like, comment, subscribe. Catch you in the next one. Peace out.